Long for This World is a book about what I think is one of the greatest mysteries in science now, which is, why are we mortal? Why are we bodies that age and die? Why couldn't evolution have designed us to be um, bodies that maintain themselves for a thousand years, ten thousand years, a million years? Why not? We're actually gaining years the longer we live. That is, our life expectancies are increasing right now, today, by a number of hours. Every day we live takes us closer to a time when our life expectancy will be even longer. And for my generation, the baby boom generation, this subject is becoming increasingly interesting. In Long for This World, I talk with biologists who take opposing views of this emerging vision of why we're mortal. One of them, Aubrey de Grey, is this fascinating and eccentric character with a beard down to here. He looks like a Methuselah, a youngish Methuselah. He's now in his mid-40s. Who argues that if we just cure seven different kinds of problems in the body, we could live for a thousand or ten thousand years or more, a million years, he talks about. He is all in favor of that, even if it means that uh, people would no longer want to have children, even if it meant that we would soon be uh, a race of immortals with virtually no children on the planet. He thinks we have a moral obligation to engineer ourselves and move in that direction. There are many other biologists who think that first uh, is logistically impossible, and second, that um, it is morally uh, spiritually, ecologically, uh, a horrible vision. And one of them, Martin Raff at University College London, also figures in my book as a sort of foil to Aubrey de Grey, uh, a wonderful old biologist, cell biologist, who took almost uh, uh, an early retirement because he wanted to make way for the next generation. And uh, and looks at Aubrey and Aubrey's arguments with a little smile as if to say we were all young once. It's fascinating. It's um, in some ways disturbing because a dramatic extension of human lifespan would, be, would mean an upheaval. It would mean one of the greatest upheavals science has brought us. And it's also an upheaval for ourselves, I think, for each of us as a mortal to confront the subject from this angle. It stirs all sorts of deep feelings of, uh, of longing and yearning and depths of philosophy. This is, this is the science we all care about.